What's going on guys? We are back with one more Pro Discus review. Here's your little rim profile. So I want to start out by just saying once again, thanks Pro Discus for sending these out. I'm pretty sure these are the last ones I've got to review. This time it is the Talisman. It is a nine speed, a 9402. So expecting some good stability, with not too much glide something that might be a little workable but um we're gonna see it's it's pretty comfortable in hand it's got a little bit of a blunt nose there on it but nine speed feels good in hand got two different plastics this was kind of crazy looking look at it so this would be like their star like plastic this is more champ kind of luster champy uh we're gonna give them some throws let me know if you throw any of these Pro Discus molds because these are all pretty much new to me. Let's go mud, mud color one. Just a easy throw, flat. Hey, that's got some stability to it. Stability. Now we're gonna go this clear one. Pretty decent throw, nothing too crazy. I really powered down on those, just the hopes that I would release them in the correct direction. Okay, so on this round, I am gonna try to throw some anties with these. These feel really overstable, or at least pretty overstable so far. Yeah, those actually, that felt like a good pull. You know, like, it doesn't glide a lot, but it still kind of did push. Pretty good. Let's try the same thing with this one. I oh, threw that low, got the nose down on it. You know, that was actually pretty decent. Like, I have to commit hard on those to get that to work, but it did work. I got the angle the nose angle down, got it on Annie, and it did a long S curve. I could see that being like one of those discs that uh, someone who likes to flex stuff a lot or force discs into lines, that might be a disc you like. That's, that's pretty solid. I don't really know how far these went. I didn't really measure them, um, but just from my past experience in this field, the area that they're in, at 340-ish, maybe, maybe in that range. Surprising thing is I'm filming the Cicada video at the same time, and these were both at the exact same distance as the Cicada, but way different ways. Uh, the Cicada is a seven speed, negative one one. I threw it kind of on hyzer pretty hard. Got a good flip up to straight. These were the forces, force overs and they went the same distance. I was actually surprised by that. Uh, I just wanted to share that. Uh, very overstable on that hyzer. Still got a little bit of glide. I'm gonna try to push this one further uh, right just to make sure I'm in frame. Yeah tailwind but still it it's going to be an overstable disc especially in the tailwind and you put it on hyzer it's gonna want a hyzer uh yeah all right i'm gonna leave you with a couple four hands at least and then we'll uh see from there i think these are going to be pretty good forehand discs well Hell, that's kind of early release. Did what I thought it would. Both of those were like super duper low. I don't know, I might leave those in, I might do a couple more, we'll see. Are you sick of just having boring shirts? 
you haven't noticed, I'm wearing this shirt. It's got a beautiful face on it and a variety logo. Go to the description and order one of your Daddy Delk shirts. Variety Disc Golf has them. They're doing them. They're pretty cool. I'll do two more forehands. I'm trying to get these up a little bit more. Yeah. That was a much better forehand. That one a little lower, but same shape. I was trying to put them kind of like a little flex. They did all right. So the Talisman, the last Pro Discus disc for me to review from the box that I received. This is a pretty good disc. It's not necessarily in my favorite uh, disc slot. That 9402 or zero three-ish range is not one that I pick up, but what does it say? That I pick up a lot. So for me, this would be in that spot where it's kind of weird because I, I usually reserve like nine, four, zero, like fours or threes for like a forehand slot. And then um, like a 10, uh, five, zero, two or something like that for the next slot. So I don't generally bag like a bunch that are in that like 9-4 range that don't have quite as much over stability to them. I, it's it's kind of weird. Um, it's in one of those ranges where I think somebody could actually get the 9404 or 9403 disc slot out of this if they've got a slower arm speed. Or if you just don't want one of those and you want something that's just a little bit more workable. I could see that being this disc as well. I'm not saying that this is a bad disc by any means. It's in a weird place for me in my bag to where I don't know that there would be a home for it. Like I just don't bag discs that are exactly like this usually. I just bag something more overstable and something a little bit glidier and still just as overstable for variations and shots. So that's how I usually do my bag. But that being said, this is a good disc. The Talisman 9402, comfortable in hand. I like the rim on it. It feels good. Everything feels good to me. Uh, and it's something I could put in my bag. It's just, it would be just an extra disc in my bag, if that makes sense. Because I've got other discs already I bag that would fill the spot I would use this for. It kind of is like the Huya from um, RPM, only this probably has a little bit more uh, distance to it. The Huey is a 7402, I think. And for the same reason, I took the Huey out of my bag just because I wasn't using it. It was just I would use a disc higher speed than it, or I would use a disc with the same stability but more glide just because I wanted that. So, yeah. Long story short, it's a good disc. Give it a try. Let me know if you like it. And thank you, Pro Discus, for sending them out to me. But that's all we got. Till next time, peace.